Paul's quick to show us that great touch of his. Really did well to move forward and just dink that lob delicately over Cash's head. Love 15. Not an easy shot, this off that low ball to control it as well as that. This one, of course, is an easy shot to put away. It was the lob that won him the point. That's a nicely placed volley by Pat uh, on that occasion, didn't have to overpower it. Ooh, ooh, that's a good return, he took that early. And Cash missed with the first two first serves. Finally got 15, that one in. 30. And Fern Forrest jumped onto it. I think he knows he's in for a fight already. Deep second serve there from Cash. He wants a few more first ones in. He's missed three out of four. And the one that he did get in, Fernfors club for a winner. Help. So great opportunity for Michael Fernfors. And interestingly, the two times that Cash has got the first serve in, he's lost the point. Yes, a little hesitant on that high forehand volley. Didn't really get the ball out in front. When that happens, the ball just flies on you a little. So a great opportunity now for Sweden. Second serve. And these great returns from Pern Force. Oh, yes, what a shot! So Pern Force to serve, leading one love. What a great start for Sweden. Yes, it was as if Cash played a poor game. Missed a couple of first serves, but those great returns. Long, well long. Two metres. Fifteen, love. So a different style of opponent, of course, today for Cash than when he played Edberg, which was a straight serve volley match between those two big hitters. Love. Well, Pernfors was a long way behind the baseline when he had to make this shot. Didn't have much room, but finds it. Forty, love. And as I said, a different type of opponent here for Cash. It's not the serve volley parry and thrust type of match. It's more uh, some baseline duels with Cash trying to work his way to the net. It's a very skilled opponent. Game, game. Well, Pat Cash has only won a couple of points since the match got underway. Sweden leads two games to love. Turn four is very quickly out of the blocks. 
don't think Cash would be too worried yet. Uh, in fact, I would think that uh, he would expect his serve to be broken on a few occasions. I mean, he's seen how well Pernfors returns the ball. I don't think he'd be too worried at this stage. First service. Christine Love. And Cash unable to control the power on the topspin on that forehand from Pernfors. He really likes to lean back. His weight goes onto the back foot and then he really flays the ball on that forehand. We've talked about how good his backhand is, but believe me, his forehand's very strong as well. It's not far behind, is it? No. Good placement there on the serve from uh, Cash. The two points that he's won off first serves in this game, he's gone into the body. Out! 40 30. The Swedish contingent. Well, they'll be pretty happy with the way Pern Fours have started today. there he's a little hesitant usually we've seen putting away the smashes Goose. here's how Pernfors handled this point there's the return on his toes off forehand there plenty of top spin draws the error First service. Again, you see Cash serving towards the centre of the court there. He doesn't want to wrist. If he doesn't get it wide enough, those flashing returns are going to cause him trouble. So he's serving a lot at the body at this stage. Sweden. Sorry, Peter, I, I said that uh, Cash wasn't unduly worried at two, love, but uh, if he was down a double break, I think he might be a little concerned. I think we just about concede that to Pernfors, although let's remember back to what happened the other day against Edberg. Although he wasn't hitting the ball as well as Pernfors is at the moment. Oh. Cash going for the three-quarter pace kicking serve there. Shows you he's a little worried. That's a well-placed serve. 
Regis. And somebody takes full-blooded swings at both their returns, as Pern Fors does. You've got to mix him up, and you've got to serve a few into the body to jam him, and give him room for those big swings. We watch it here. He's had to play that cramped and dragged it into the net. There's Cash standing very close to the centre line for that serve. room to swing there yes and that's the danger you can see this serve compared to the last one comes straight into the uh, hitting zone for Pern Fours he just stands there and clubs it down the line second break opportunity Cash can't find the range with that first serve. That's his major weapon, and he'll certainly have to pick it up. Got Too good. It. Too good. Double break. Three love Sweden. First set. the Australian Open. I'm sure many players would be breathing a sigh of relief if he goes along with that. And you can see there Pat Cash only 43% of first serves in and subsequently has dropped his opening two service games. Seats quickly please ladies and gentlemen. Well, we we're mentioned how important the serve is for Cash. Uh, McNamee didn't serve well against Pernfors and uh, that was one of the reasons for his downfall. Now Cash has started off serving below his best he's got to pick it up I tell you what I reckon this guy could hit a serpent at 100 meters 15 love he could at the moment here's the approach shot not a bad one just have a look at that pinpoint accuracy good call close but uh, definitely too long. long we're in the fourth game Pat Cash has won six points so far he's yet to win a point off Pern Four service you can see Pern Fours doesn't really rely on his big first serve or on his first serve but it doesn't seem to matter that breaks the duck Thirty fifteen. Well, here we have Cash chipping the return, moving in, little split step there, get balanced and putting away that nice high backhand volley. Forty fifteen. But the first serve, of course, not as important for Pern Fours. He's not serve volleying, it's not his major weapon, so his first service percentage nowhere near as critical as, as Cash's. good shot from Cash, slicing it wide, so the angle on that shot's going 40, to uh, take Pernfels out of court, and the slice is going to keep the ball low, so a difficult one for a two-handed backhand, here's the shot here, wide and low. So a serve a fault. Too long. Game, Sweden. Sweden lead four games to love. Well, what a sensational start by Michael Pernforce. He thought he was going to give Cash a very tough match. But I didn't think he'd be racing to a four-love lead in the first set. A better placement on that serve. Illustrating as you pointed out, Alan, once again, how important the first serve is for Cash, especially against an opponent like Pernfors. 
Well, he's got to use the serve uh, well also. It's not a matter of number of first serves. He's got to mix them up. When you're against such a great returner, you've got to use variety. First ace of the match. <laughs> 30, love. Let's look at this lovely serve of Cash. Reaching up for it, full extension and a great weight transference. Very smooth swing. Uh, well held back that shot. It looked like he was going to play a little roll 30, shot 15. across court off the backhand. The skill, that racket skills of Pern Fors. He moves in here, looks like he's going to hook it across court. Just lifts it at the last moment and it's the top spin lob. Nice and deep, that volley from Cash. 40-15. Well, Cash was in this position on his last uh, service game, and normally you would expect at 40-15 that you're in for a comfortable game, but he wasn't able to hold on to it. I'm sure he'll be very eager to do so here. Serve. leads 4-1 in the first set. Previous game. You can see Pernford just looking up at the sun. All he's attempting to do is just three-quarter pace spinning first serve. Out. 15, love. Well, Cash picking that shot, just missing the volley. I think as the match progresses, we'll see him start to... Uh, read those shots a little better. Remember, this is the first time these two players have played each other, so it takes a while to feel out your opponent. Plenty of bounce on that serve. 30, love. And each time Fernforce has served, he has been at that score. Yes, deep approach shot. Can't get any deeper than this. On the line and then a lovely low volley into the corner. Well, catch quick to move in. This is going to be the pattern of his play. You see him chipping there, getting in. Nice lunge volley. He's ready to move back for the smash. It dropped short and he just popped it over. just helping to push that touchscreen lob of Pernforce wide. 30, 40. And remember that Pernforce led 30 love in this game. Quiet, so. please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Last two seconds serves. He's directed at Cash's body.
game Australia. Sweden lead four games to two. A well, good effort there from Cash. Peter, as you said, he was down 30 love and then won the next four points with some very intelligent play. It's the Australians. And now Neil Fraser. Good sign from him there. He would be pleased to see Cash break at least once in this set. Just can't find the mark yet with that first serve. And boy, he's cool, Pernfors. I mean, Cash really covers the net well, but Pernfors doesn't get rattly, just sizes the shot up and just hits through the ball perfectly. Well, Cash in trouble, uh, having to rely on his second serve. Just a little bit too often so far in the match. Certainly more often than he'd like. So 43% for Cash. He'd like it around 60. No, I think it needs to be, yeah, 60 or a little better to uh, keep holding your serve against this guy. You can see there now three very good returns, all off second 40. serves. It's doing the damage and cash down three break points. Cash has served four times. Three of those games, he's been down break points. Really jumping on that high bouncing ball and getting over it beautifully. Fifteen forty. Just spinning the ball in, mixing it up on service, and using those great skills and racket control that he's got on the ground strokes to do the damage. Thirty love. Well, the frustration uh, showing there from Cash, really just trying to hit an outright winner on that second service return and hit it well wide. Set points for Sweden. Cash retrieves one of them. And Paul was slipping a bit, but he was a long way 14, behind 15. the baseline. And uh, I don't think would have got this anyway. You see him from back there. It's too far back. Looks back where he lost his footing, but was well out of the point. Turn four, 6-2. Game first set, Sweden. Six games to two. Well, full marks to Michael Turnfors. That's an excellent set of tennis. Against a big serving and an attacking player. And Turnfors not overawed in the slightest. His teammates are wrapped in it. And he's come and been able to break serve against Cash a couple of occasions. Three, in fact, dropped his own once, but really pretty much in complete control in an opening set. And we'll need to see an improved Second serving set. 
Australian from serve. Pat Cash if he wants to get back into this match. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, let's see if Gary Thank Wilkinson you. can find that improvement for Pat Cash and Australia as we welcome Gary and John Alexander to the commentary box. Love 15. Yeah, thank you, Peter. I don't know. Pat Cash doesn't have the answers. I certainly don't. It certainly needs to, uh, to lift that first serve percentage. For starters. there coming in behind the serve and putting the ball very deep Have to make it just as difficult as he possibly can for Fern Force Gee, another close call, but a correct call by uh, Phil Leake on this uh, northern baseline. 15-30. Tough call to make. But correctly so. There it is from our low angle replay and dropping just long. Serve just won't fall for cash. Ah, oh, that's him. He had to come up with a good shot, uh, John Alexander. Just a tremendous volley off this excellent attempted pass. Both players at full stretch. Pern Fours really play a magnificent forehand up the line. But Cash there at full stretch. And that's as hard as he's hit a first serve too. That's a good smash. Yes, applauded even by Pernfors. He's been worrying Cash for that uh, topspin lob. A couple of times Cash 40, has got back 30. for it, but hasn't been able to put it away. But no mistake this time. Turn a serve from Michael Pernfors off a terrific first serve by Cash right in the backhand corner. Couldn't have asked for more. And whipping that ball across court, virtually unplayable. There's some heady tennis going on at Kuyong right now. gives it to, to Pern Fors and gives him a break point here in the opening and game of the second set. And although Cash great forehand straight down the line, catching the top of the net, the luck going with the Swedish player, Pat Cash appears to be settling down, but still in trouble on the first game of the second set.
Good Great second, second serve. serve. Oh, Deep, just centimetres inside the service line and with a tremendous amount of kick. And that ball just thoroughly beat Pern Fours. And there hasn't been too many balls that have so far. Tough to come up with second serves like that, though. Good temperament, break point down, and a tremendous second serve. Oh, first serve in and a good one, but again, Pern Fours is coming up with a clean winner. Pern Fours is really going through a purple patch. I don't think anybody could expect him could have expected him to play this well and I don't think anybody really would expect him to continue to play like this so Pat Cash really up against it at the moment there's the breakthrough yeah, and he has leads by one game Thank well, you, ladies and gentlemen. he has to knuckle down and stick with the original game plan which I'm sure was to get in at every opportunity He's rushing himself a little bit there, trying for too much when it wasn't on. The rule has to be is to come in off quality shots. Cash comes in. And that's the play that Pat needs to repeat time and time again. Take your time, wait for the short ball, play it solidly and follow it to the net. Yeah, well, he's going to get past doing that, but he's going to have to take that risk because if he stays back, he's certainly going to get past. Forty-fifteen. Now, the great difficulty that Pat is dealing with at this stage is that all his preparation has been against serve and volleyers, as uh, Paul suffered from this on Friday. just by such a different type of tennis. It's almost Sweden like playing, two games to love. Second set. Almost like playing a different sport. But Pat definitely has the game to beat a Michael Pernfors on grass. He's just got to find his game and impose it upon Michael Pernfors and he will win. Well, it all starts with the first serve, and so far that's not working for Cash. It is, it's the key for Pat to hold his own service games, to get a high percentage of first serves. Love 15. Turn four is playing absolutely superb tennis. Pat really has not played badly with this type of tennis, that return of serve that sets up the opportunity to pass and he has rarely missed a chance. Michael Pernfor is picking up from the amazing form that he had on Friday. Fifteen all. And quite an amount of uh, feeling in that smash, I thought, Gary. Yes, he'd like to uh, be presented with a few more like that. Pernfor doesn't give him too many opportunities, though. Oh, yes. Not an easy smash to hit that. Most of the smashes you hit, you, you hit moving back. Thirty fifteen. Really a penetrating serve. Pernfors made a good attempt at that return, just catching the tape. Pity. Ball was good. Yeah, I said what a pity, but the return was just a gem. But a terrific First tactical service. serve by Cash, really a short, wide kicker. But if you can believe, Pernfors virtually played a winner off that. Look at that. So I think that was uh, maybe a little bit fortunate for Pat Cash that it was called a fault.
Johnson two-handed backhand taken just short of the top Let's of the bounce. Go. Right from the baseline. It was a good second serve by Cashes. Had a lot of lift. It's going into the wind, of course, which slows up the serves a little bit and gave Pernforce that little bit of time to play that shot. Cash, 30 all on serve. Tennis is pulling firm pause out wide and allowing Cash the opportunity to advance on the net. Put away the volley for the winner. Game point for Cash. He hasn't seen too many of them. And again, that first serve hitting the top of the net. bit Give rash it. on that second serve really going for a little bit too much but uh, he really must be in a dilemma because anything that isn't a tremendous serve Pernfors is dealing with two double faults for cash none for Pernfors not surprising he's made very few mistakes Pernfors Friday, even when things were rough, he stuck with Atlantic it. Australia. And even when things aren't going well here, here he is groveling for low volleys. He's looking for the lob then, and the ball came short, but then dispensing with that topspin lob, as only Pat Cash can. Very athletic. Oh. Goodness me. Yes. Obviously, Pat still having a great deal of difficulty settling down. And that's so easy to understand with Pernfors playing such magnificent tennis and so unorthodox for a grass court. more aggressive with his volleying then. Cash should give his kingdom for a first serve. 46%. Tremendous tennis again, the point set up, as so often has been the case with a tremendous return of serve. Cash having to make a difficult half volley, just getting it low. Pernfors covering the drop shot. Very tricky, gone across court several times, edged that one down the line and then volleyed into the open court. Michael Pernfors' form is dizzying. Got a lot of head shaking up here in the commentary booth. Cash has had uh, four or five game points and hasn't been able to hold out here. And now Pernfors has an opportunity for another break that had put him up three love in the second set, having taken the first, of course, by six games to two.
Oh, straight up there, Sweden. Third ball. Thirty love. His form today, the cripsing pad of his form on Friday, which we thought was just really heady tennis. That is precisely what Pat Cash needs to do. 15. Take that second serve early, before the top of the bounce. Percentages must lie with the man at the net on a grass court. There it is again. again. That's the plan. That's, your... that's the plan that Pat Cash and Neil Fraser have devised, and that's what they need to stick with. Classical grass court tennis. Forty thirty. Pat still looking calm, collecting himself. It couldn't be easy with the, the onslaught that he's received from, from Michael Pernfors. Oh, he's going to get a chance here, another second serve. Uh, three attempts at coming to the net this game. Pat Cash has won all three. So that should reinforce his belief in coming to the net against Michael Pernfors. First service. And four for four. Four times in at the net this game and four times Cash has come up winning. So there if there is a little change in the wind, I think. A lot of people here hope you're right. Maybe I'm only hoping. <laughs> Was a very smart player, made Dante sure of that Sweden. first serve and changed his attack and came to the net himself, which is the surefire way of stopping the opposition from coming to the net. Mm -hmm. Game Sweden. And Pernfors really charged up over Sweden this lead four games to love, second set. But Pernfors won the game, even though the tactic did work for Cash returning deep on the second serve of the uh, Swedish player and then coming in. But what about on Cash's serve? What's he got to do to get his first serve percentage up? I mean, get it he, in the court, he obviously. Ha he has to serve better. His ball toss isn't as high as it should be, as it has been. And as soon as you keep your ball toss a little lower, it reduces your clearances over the net inside the service line. A better ball toss and a better serve, but it was a better topspin lob. Yes, but the first volley was not penetrating enough. And it was a good return of serve, but that volley should be kept deeper. Not an impossible task then, so Pat really has to shore up on his serve volley game. Got to serve better. Again, a better ball toss. And you could see the clearance of that all. serve. It was nearly a metre inside the service line when so many of Pat's first serves have hit the, hit the top of the net and those that have gone in have either just been inside the service line or just, uh, just clearing the service line. So to keep full extension of the point of impact.
1530. Cash rewarded for his improved effort on serve in this game. But he's still really, at 30 all. He's keeping tremendous composure considering the situation of this match. And it looks like it's going to be rewarded. An excellent first serve again. in order to win it's percentage tennis he's got to be able to get to the net a high percentage of the time so easy when Pat Cash does it correctly he should come in on every opportunity well Burn Force is starting to give him a few opportunities with the number of second serves and it works again yes uh 15, Ultimately, Burn Four's first serve percentage could be more important than Pat Cash's because Pat should be able to really destroy the entire Michael Burn Four's game if he misses his first serve a great deal. Because yeah. there's not a second serve that Burn Four should be able to hit that Pat can't hit and come in off successfully. 15, 40. Double fault, the first of the match for Burn Four's. And interesting to note. Uh, very much an earned double fault that one in that he tried to hit the ball extra deep to stop cash from coming in and that's very much a result of cash's tactics in the previous two receiving games and at the same time of course cash's first serve percentage is up from 43 to 48 percent still nowhere near high enough Quiet, please, and gentlemen. Thank which means in the last couple of games but it's probably been about 60 that's right Sweden lead four games to two second set. So that's the first chink in the armour of Michael Pernfors. Now let's see if Pat Cash can consolidate by winning this service game. First service. Well, he needs a quick and easy service game, if possible. He can win this game quickly and then remount mount his attack on the Pernfors serve. 
I think the entire complexion of this match could well change. Lot 15. And still rather a good return off a very awkward serve. Pat not quite found his composure entirely. Still uh, a little bit mystified by Michael Pernfor's extraordinary fall. Yes, it was a good serve. <laughs> 30-15. I don't know where the call came from, down in the crowd or from Pernfors, but it was an outstanding second serve from Cash. And uh, Pernfors reply out over the baseline. Second service. Gee. Okay, just hit the top of the tape more times today than any other three players in a week. Good There's no easy service going for Pat Cash. Look at that, making that ground. There's the forehand and the backhand. But, uh, Pat may be making a mistake not going for one side or the other. Just missed. Definitely long. Good solid volley and that at full stretch. Just what a beautiful action shot that was of the ball just hitting beyond the baseline. Oh, sensational. Extraordinary Good. tennis. You just run out of superlatives for uh, this man, uh, Burnfors. Deep, firm, and kicking. The last thing you'd expect was that somebody could whip that across court. Especially on Friday, his, his best backhands, greatest backhands were down the line, but today showing that he can hit it either way with equal aplomb. That is the most sensational tennis shot you will see this year. Right, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. 
Extraordinary. It is break point for Michael Burnforce. Heartbreaking is what it is. Cash still composed. Extraordinary effort. Oh. And hanging on grimly for Australia. Yes. Great effort from a 21-year-old. He's had an awful lot of pressure on him in recent recent weeks. I guess you're sliding off the edge of the lounge at home. There are people on the edge of their seats here at the stadium with heart palpitations. How does Paul McNamee feel? relentless he just doesn't let up just another very very good return of serve and it's the relentlessness of Hearn Fours that is now maybe getting on top of Pat Cash break point again this would put him up 5-2 and serving for the second set Cash's comment unbelievable. He really has hit an unbelievable serves, number of serves that have hit the top of the net. Oh, that's out. And that's the break. Game three. And the first of the reverse singles matches here in the Davis Cup final for 1986. 6-2, 5-2 and, and serve to follow. Serving for the second set, Michael Pernfors. Now remember, first uh, sign of any temperament from Cash as he throws his racket to the ground, annoyed with himself. Paul's lost his last service game to Cash. What a percentage of first serves in that game contributing to it. Cash continues with the plan. 15 all. The Gary, I don't temptation the to last, change uh, must be uh, overwhelming. Yes, and yet in the last uh, three service games of Michael Pernfors, mm. on every occasion Cash has gotten to the net, he has won, won the, the point. point. On every single occasion. So he's just got to promote that situation more often. He's not getting in on enough points. Mm. Oh. And that's the first time it's been passed in three games. Well, the trick is not to be deterred by the fact that he has been passed. Set point. 40-30. Michael Pernford is very charmed up and very charged up, I mean. If he wins this, he'll be charmed up, all right. In the Swede. Relatively easy forehand. <laughs> a simple shot compared to some of the forehands he's been making. And that juice. And 
Hesh with a decided chance to come into the net. Advantage Sweden. athletic ability to keep himself in this point all over the net like an octopus great jump Quite great please. dive thank you and Pernfor is ultimately being frustrated thought what he he thought he'd hit two winning shots that point Advantage Australia. And there is Cash. Very deep approach shot. And playing just a simple volley into the open court. Break point. And a second serve. Burnfors must be desperate. That's the first time he's tried to serve and volley this uh, match, I think, Gary. Gives a break to Pat Cash. Ball change. So things coming around for Pat Cash. Serve in this second set, but looking a much better player. And the trend of this match appears to be gradually changing in favour of the Australian. Well, Pernfors had set point Thank there, you and uh, he's let it slip. That's got a play on his mind. Cash will be hoping so. Very easy forehand too on that set point, Gary. Love. Yes, Cash. Really aggressive. And can see the glimmerings here of a, an opening. That's the case. A much more solid first volley there. That was met solidly and really punched well out in front of him. And Pat has gotten in trouble. It's been through slightly lofted volleys that have given Michael Pernfors the time that's necessary to play passing shots consistently. And suddenly Cash is finding the range with the first serve. The winds have changed that John Alexander detected uh, three, four games back when nobody else did, are blowing uh, a little more strongly and noticeably. Pressing, pressing a little bit too much in that second serve. Four for Cash. Up for Cash, only two for Pernfors, but one of them coming on a break point. 40-15, Cash. Oh, too good. Burnfall is showing a decided tendency to hit a great number of his forehand passing shots across court. Obviously his favourite shot. But in that combination with the topspin lob across court, also 
Really exploring the extremities of the court, making cash cover an awful lot of ground. Going to cash, but it's still five games to four. First service. Well, Cash had held up his uh, hand to say he wasn't ready there. Yeah, probably regretting that right now. Good deep volley. Lefferty. And again, Cash's tactic. Very calm. Here's Pernfor's point. A deep volley catching Pernfor's off balance. Coming in for the expected weak volley that had been uh, he'd been presented with earlier in the match. Yes, he looks towards the sun. Misses yeah. with the first serve again. This is the what Cash wants. Very tense down there now. Not risking errors, waiting for the short ball, and when he got it, he played the right shot, just split it over the sideline. 50% now for Cash. First serves in. So statistically, we're having a change come over the match. athletic ability of both these players this is some of the best tennis of the year just tremendous effort by cash 13 15 fighting like no one burn fours all over the court by please ladies and gentlemen and the jimmy connor's thank chant you, Oh, just a little bit over anxious there, Cash. And two set points for Michael Pernforce. Now that Game is the second set. set. Sweden, six games to four. Per two sets to love. Michael Pernforce leading Pat Cash, and look at the Swedish contingent. Well, I venture to say that this match is a long way from over. Well, and Bernfors won that second set, but he won it on a trailing throttle. Cash was coming back as strongly as anyone could have from the poor start that he'd suffered from. All right, a prediction Sweden there from uh, John Alexander up. that... Uh, Third set. There are still Five more dramatic eight. events to follow. We'll soon see. Two sets to love. Pernfors leading Pat Australia Cash, is, uh, Sweden leading set. Australia. First game, third set, Pat Cash. As Peter Landy rejoins us with Alan Stone. Thanks, Gary. Footfall called anyway. Cash completely mishitting that serve. Landed right at the bottom of the net. Fifteen now.
Hurt your love? Not too many times during the match has Pat Cash been at 40 Love on service. Well, importantly, Peter, it's the uh, first service game for him of a set that he'll be able to uh, win. He's always been down an early break those last two sets, so this looks like being a much better start for him. I'll tell you what, though, he's, he's hit some pretty good serves in those first two sets that have been hit back like that. Never underestimate these uh, ground strokes of Pernfort. They've been magic. Yeah, some of his gets have been absolutely unbelievable, haven't they? Oh. And a double. 40-30. A slight miss hit there too on that second server ball, dropping a little low. Cash wanting to go close to the centre line. See so serve five, not a huge number, but the returning ability of Pern Fours is uh, contributing to some of those. Yeah, that's ooh, a great thing about the two-handed backhand is the ability to hold the ball back not hit it quite as early and then with the strength with that extra hand you can then hook the ball late across court watch it here just holds it and then hooks it back across court that's the great advantage of the two-hander 40 love to deuce good that one ball getting up high a little bit Dante short Sweden. and Pern falls this time with the off backhand Cash does get a lot of bounce on his serve but Pern falls has been able to handle it look how high this gets up above shoulder height and Pern falls can still hit that off shot so from 40 love where it looked like Cash was going to get a great start in this third set he's down game point He hasn't missed with too many lobs. Luckily for Pat, that was one of them. Well, as John Alexander said, from that end, the southern end, he's hitting with the, with the wind, and it's a little bit harder with the top spin lob. You don't get the assistance of hitting into the breeze. And that one, he hit it well, but it just carried over the line. again wins for himself a game point after leading 40 love and then being down a break point most important that he wins this first game of the third set remember he's been down to love four in the previous two To this game. Yes. Well, still having a slight problem with that ball toss, but uh, tremendous effort required here from Cash to come back from two sets to love down to uh, win this Davis Cup for Australia. We know what a fighter he is, but this would really uh, put the icing on the cake if he could win this match. A 
advantage Australia. He really had to jump for that overhead too. Was able to get it away. Yes, yeah, so we watch him in isolated replay here. The perfect backhand volley. Plenty of lift in that uh, jump there to get up for the smash. Again, finding the tape. Cash hold serve and leads one love in the line. Well, Pernforce doesn't rely on his big serve, but he doesn't mess around. He just steps up the line and spins it in. And if he serves a fault, he doesn't seem to take much time in between first and second serve. So, good thinking from Cash. <laughs> well, that looked very simple there for Pernforce, and it was made more easy by the fact that. We watch it here, Pat Cash comes in, he's expecting a cross court here. So he doesn't even move for that one, completely wrong footed. Fernforce successful on quite a number of occasions when he's come to the net. Usually he comes in behind a very deep shot. So that uh, if he does have to play a volley, it's usually a fairly uh, straightforward one. Oh. 30-15. Only Pernforce third double. looking up at the sun there now as it's moving around he tends to throw the ball over his head a little rather than out in front for a spin serve so perhaps the sun's bothering him 40-15 Cash in this game so far not able to put any pressure on Pernforce well, we had a good shot there of Pernforce looking up uh, into the sun as he threw the ball over his head see it again there second service cash doesn't have that problem on his first serve because he throws the ball further out in front of him going for more power and another double 40 30 quiet please thank you Well, smart tennis gives Pernforce the game. Game three. One game all, third set. A serve volley point for there, for uh, the Swede there, catching Cash. And he played it on a couple of occasions, but seems to have that sense of knowing what to do at the right stages of a match, uh, Michael Pernforce. It's something you can't learn, he's got it. Only Cash's second ace, which is perhaps indicative of the fact that Pat hasn't served today as well as he can. That was a gem. Well, didn't get that shot short enough, and Pernfors is pretty quick. I tell you what, Alan, he's just about as fast as Cash around the court, isn't he? Yes, let's watch the two players here as they play the point. Good deep volley. Now, the drop volley coming up from Cash, not short enough. And Pernfors, a lot of topspin there as he just flips it down the line. Nice angle on that serve to set up the uh, open court for Cash. Now if Cash can string together a couple of service games and lead 2-1, 3-2, 4-3, and with his attacking of Pernforce serve, 
I think we'll be able to see him maybe uh, take this third set. Again, that uh, catching the tape. Tremendous number of times he served into the tape. This is a crucial game for Cash. And for us with the slightly better percentage and that Cash. It's improving Cash, is but slowly. Needs to be better than that. Clever. Clever. The same shot two points earlier and he hit it down the line. This time he just held the ball back a little bit and then uh, hooked it across court. Let's watch it again. The same shot as he moves forward, but this time just hooks it back across court. This man is a thinker. Can play a bit too. Of course. <laughs> Ace. Yeah, that looked long. Good. That was a big, big point. That was great point. Malcolm Huntington goes yes. with the linesman. Well, very close. It may be uh, a bit of good fortune for the Australians. That was wide. Advantage. Sweden. Good serve by Cash, though, nonetheless, uh, right at the body of Turn Force. He wasn't able to control the return, unfortunately. This volley by Cash is about a tennis ball wider than it should have been. right in the corner <laughs> oh what a great effort turn fours uh, from almost at the backdrop there full dive to keep that ball in play <laughs> finally it was put away by cash but the crowd appreciating that point from both players here good low volley to keep in the point Pushes it deep, flips it back from behind him. And look at that for a magnificent effort. Had to guess one way and went the wrong way. A fine point from both players. A miss hit. Advantage Australia. A cash was game point after being down two break points in this third game. Well, he's hanging on cash. He was down break points in the opening game as well. Andy Hulse. Uh, Again, Australia. Australia. Settle down quickly, please, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. And by just waiting for quiet, it's pretty hard to get perfect silence here today. The tension and the drama that everybody's feeling in this stadium. Missed with too many groundies today, Pern Fours, and important for, importantly for Cash winning the vital opening point. <laughs> and a double. Love 30. Pern Fours going for a bit more depth. He could see Cash moving forward. Cash drawing the double fault there, and here's the chance that he's fought so hard to uh, to get. Love 30. Yeah. Lovely overhead. 
Love 40. So three chances to break in this fourth game for Cash. Cash moving in on the return, and once he gets the overheads, very rarely does he fail to put them away. string together a couple of service games and then be able to put pressure on the turn for serve. Question we ask ourselves is can cash on serve? Two games to one. Something we would really ask Second but against set. the caliber of the returns of turn fours we must. <laughs> He's had very few easy service games Pat looking back through the scorecard. Love 15. This Penfield almost looks more dangerous when he's returning serve than when he's actually he? serving. Those slow floaters are uh, harder Police than they look. Scoreboard, please not wave flags in front of the numbers. Thank you. An announcement there by Malcolm Huntington about uh, right, please. flags in front of the uh, scoreboard, was it? Yes, on the outer side, Alan, uh, in between the players' names. Somebody was waving an Australian flag. Well, they're doing their best anyway. <laughs> So is Cash as he uh, struggles valiantly to get back into this match. Cash has served 12 times in the match counting this game. In eight of those games, he's been down break or set points. Second service. game this one for cash and for australia he's got the break he must hold this one and then of course at 4-1 he could really put some more pressure on the uh, serve of michael pern force is that possible today <laughs> do you think not bending for that forehand pass so perhaps he's starting to uh, tense up a little cash hold serve and leads 4-1 in the third set it's to love over pat cash Cash taking plenty of time here. I'm sure Neil Fraser would have told him to go hard for a double break here and see if he can't run through this set at 6-1. It's 1-4. Another centimetre. 15, love. Well, about half a dozen towards the centre and it would have cleared the tape. Exactly. Again, a smart move there from Fern Force. Just to play a big off forehand there, then moves in a lot of topspin and doesn't have to make the volley. 
So he's been pretty successful of the odd times that he has gone to the net. Well, that's a sensational volley from Cash. Full stretch. And to be able to get the power into that shot from there. And the placement, importantly. Let's watch it from our low replay. Pernford really hammers it. Cash dives. And look at that for placement. Superb volley. Cash on the attack. Well, he was under pressure there. Pernford's had him on a string. 14-15. Cash looking at the soles of his uh, shoes. You see, he slipped on part of the court that's less used in the centre, right next to the sideline. I don't think it would have made much difference there. Pern Fors, uh, was uh -uh. had him on a string there, jagging him around. Great play from the Swede. Yeah, three minutes. So an easy Australia service game. Four games to two, third set. Easy service game for Fern Fours. Now this is the one that Cash wants. Last game before the ball change. Yes, I'm sure Cash won't uh, relax now that he's holding a break in this third set. As he said, he's been in trouble on nearly all his service games, so every one is a battle and he knows it. First service. Had a lot of tennis uh, in this Davis Cup tie, Pat Cash. And he serves constantly hitting the tape. Uh, must be having some sort of effect on him physically. Quite warm down there. The <laughs> Cash is a strong player. He's very fit. He really hammers this serve down the centre. Ace number four for Patrick. Turn four to get to serve one, but I don't think that would worry him one iota. You know. notice Pat Cash pointing down to his shoes and looking at Neil Fraser who's gone to the bag and got out another pair so perhaps we'll see a change of shoes for Cash at this uh, change of ends as he has them out next to uh, his own there again into the tape I'm sure if there's a change of uh, Ends also, there'll be a change of advice perhaps about that toss. Get it up a little bit. Thirty-fifteen. Floating two-hander there. Not hit as low as usual, but uh, the placement was good. Enough to win the point for Pernforce. Boy, what a match he's playing. is very fast to the team and again had no trouble getting to that you watch that uh, lovely serve of uh, cash moves in behind it ready for the volley it's a great spring forward towards the net Well, it seemed to be a fairly straightforward volley from uh, Pat Cash that he netted. Neil Fraser with Pat Cash's shoes. He just pulled out of the bag, so Pat may indeed change to them during the upcoming break.
with the new balls to stay in this third set. Cash with new Why shoes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Team. A nice placement there, Cash just waiting his time. Of course, if he wins this game, Alan, he'll be able to serve first in the next set. Which, I think against Pernfors now, it could be a decided advantage. Yes. He's floated along. 15 all. Breeze picking up, as you can probably hear through our courtside microphones. Throwing down the challenge to Pern for us. Okay, if you can, pass me. On that occasion, he couldn't. Well, it's very hard for Pern for us to keep up the level of those passing shots that he had in the first two sets. I mean, they were just unbelievable. And to be able to do that for an entire match is, uh, well, pretty hard to do. 30 all. Well, Cash effectively two points from the set. Just wide. 40-30. So no luck at all there for Pat. In fact, Patrick talking to himself, saying there he's missing by a few centimetres on uh, a lot of shots. Again, Sweden. So Pat has to serve it out. If he can. Last two service games. Lead five games to three, third set. He has been relatively clear. Well, the ball's only one game old. Uh, they weren't much an advantage to Pern for us, but I think that uh, Cash should be able to extract a little bit more uh, speed and bounce with them, and that should assist him. 5-3. Great effort there. That was a stinging return again from Perth Force. Cash lunging, loses his footing. I don't think he can blame the shoes. It's just a great return here. He does well to be able to keep that in. There it is. There loses his footing. Does a full turn. Gets up, but not much chance really when you're staggering like that to pick the right way. Second service. Oh, lucky break there for Cash. Let on the second serve at love 30. It really would have a bit of difficulty serving out this set. Match in progress nearly two hours. Great ball. Really timed that beautifully. 15 all. Wasn't hit that close to the corner. Let's watch the volley, but the timing here is so good. You can see it lands about mid-court, but it just zips away. And Fernforce went back past the baseline to pick up something. I don't know what it was.
too good. Yes, lovely off backhand. He actually ran around his forehand there to take that shot. As we see Peter McNamara and Mark Patchman. Now watch here, he moves to his right to give himself room to hit the backhand. Shows you how confident he was, is with that shot. And then just pushed it gently across court. Fantastic control of the racket head there from Kern Force. Well, not that time. A little bit of added bounce from Cash. You can see him there indicating that he had trouble getting over that ball. A smart serve from Cash. His point four is not very tall. He's five foot eight in the old terminology. Brings up set point for Pat Cash. Fourteen thirty. Cash okay, solid at the net here. He's got it well covered. He's in good position. And once again, he gets that smash. Let's listen to the crowd if he wins this point. It's thunderous. Australia. Two sets to one. Alexander. Thank you, Peter. Pernforce Forster serve first in the uh, the fourth set. Well. <laughs> Early games, very crucial. Oh, you're not kidding. Fifteen love. And while it would be nice if Pat Cash were able to achieve an early break, it is vitally important that he doesn't let Michael Pernforce get up on him. Thank you. He needs to continue. Continue doing what he was doing. Yes, consolidate the tactics that proved so successful during the third set. Consolidate his, uh, the trend that he'd established. And that was it. Quick that into the it. net. Very deep shots from Cash. The first one just uh, just in. The second one, same place, just long. But Cash really appearing to dominate Pern Fours in these early points. Cash doing everything right Perfect and just approach beaten shot. by a little bit of luck. Cash Perfect showing. approach shot from Cash. And the reply from uh, Burnforce just catches the tape and uh, deflects it for a winner. But that's where percentage tennis lies, successful percentage tennis. There it is again. Copy book tennis. Waiting for the right ball, hitting it for what it's worth and coming to the net. The number of times that Michael Pernfors will be able to hit a let cord winner that goes an inch inside the line will be small. Oh, yes. Great point for Cash. Bunches Australia. Short ball from Pernfors and Cash pounced on it like a big cat. And Cash making it look easy now. Five, please. Thank you. Oh, double four. In the fourth set, leads one game to love. Five, please. 
Thank you. Burn Force, of course, leading two sets to one. There's a lot of mileage in the match yet. Take your seats quickly behind the receiver. Thank you. Love 15. Burnforce finished off his service game with a double fault. Cash opens with one. It's pretty tense down there. Eight for Cash, six for Burnforce. Oh. Yes, it was a fault. Raised chalk, but it was on the service line, not the centre line. Two doubles. Love 30. I don't know whether maybe it's the breeze that's picked up that's causing that. Uh, just. Oh, I think it's a little lapse after that relief uh, from all the tension that Pat's been under to finally get his nose in front in a set early on. And just a little relief of... Uh... Oh, follows up with an ace. Fifteen thirty. Straight down the middle and beyond the reach of Michael Pernfors. <gasps> it's a great serve from Cash. The return almost dropped in, but uh, thirty all. Helped by the breeze at landed a centimetre or two beyond the baseline. And that was a serve that uh, Pernfor so often in the, in the first sets uh, was able to hit uh, very sharply across court. But, uh, I believe this court's playing faster than what it was earlier in the day. Up to 53% first serve for cash, 61% for Pernfors. Forehand drive from Burn Fours is a winner. 30-40. Brings up break, back point. Really flayed that ball. Service. Oh, good oh, me. What a volley. Oh. He really had to bend the knees to get down to that. Just a tremendous volley from the position. Turn yes. An excellent backhand passing shot down the line and Cash fearlessly touching the volley into the open court. Fearlessly deep this volley and he gets down so well for it. Australia. 
Akash survives. A break point against him there. Australia lead two games to love, four sets. It came from love 30, then was down break point. Held out with Thank some uh, super confident volleys. First service. Phone for is indicating the ball went over the net by a foot. I, I heard the light from yeah, here. Yeah, that's right. Oh. The Pern for is becoming visibly irritated by uh, all sorts of things, existing and non-existing. Oh. Yeah, good call. Yes, clearly out. Very, very close. Lots of team. Close. by Cash. Thank you. Into the net. He's bowling firmly, more firmly into the open court. And that's what's producing more errors on the attempted pass. Yes. In at every opportunity. Taking turn for his first Not service 30. then. Hitting it solidly. And coming to the net. Five, please. Thank you. Fifteen thirty. Thirty all. Well, that was a little bit of a tactical error there, trading ground strokes from the baseline. Paul McNamee's downfall was trying to hit winners from behind the baseline. Just to keep the pressure up by coming in. 14 30. Fancy footwork from Pernforce. Pernforce has left his concentration waver. He's become distracted over some small things at times, a little bit uh, distracted by the crowd. And he is letting this match slip away. One thing you've got to say for Cash in this match, he's been pretty single-minded. <laughs> he has not wavered. complaining about the call but it was definitely a good ball advantage Sweden definitely a good ball a lot of one. tension down there on the court that's it We're clearly in and fended that off his mouth just about we'll probably see this ball on no. I just missed it Stage. <laughs> he must have felt he'd been hit by that uh, Tyson character. working as well as it was for uh, Pern Fors, even though he's sitting into the wind from this end. Well, Cash's volleys are more penetrating now and giving Pern Fors less time to play his, uh, his approach, his passing shots or his uh, lobs and less time to really disguise the shots. And Cash is really getting on top of Pern Fors at this stage. 
Pretty love. Serve is hitting the mark more often. I think with the sunlight that we've had today and the wind, the court is getting faster. It does tend to get faster later in the day. So all is going Pat Cash's way at this moment. There is very little opportunity for the Swedish player to pass. That volley is penetrating, it's angled, so power very different to the volleys of the first two sets that were lofted, often without purpose, without depth, and allowed Pernfors to pass at will. Tough to keep making them from there. A lot less animation from his uh, Swedish teammates by the court side now too. They were very excited early on. And Pernfors has gotten away with the first two points, but Cash has been able to approach rather well off Pernfors' first serve. So you'll see Pernfors most likely try to press a little bit more on his first serve. 40, love. It's the easiest game anyone's had for a while, I think. take the third, leading here 3-2 in the fourth. I think, but uh, top stuff, as the sign says. Yes, a great dig out by Pat Cash. Another great return. Where Pat decided to try to make that into a drop shot. And just played the volley in the open court earlier in the day. He's trying to dig them out a little bit more, and they were just landing around the service line were easy prey for Michael Pernfors. <laughs> Cash shakes his head, he can't believe it. Well, this is what Michael Pernfors does so well. Straight down the line, just centimetres inside the baseline. But his shots have lost some of the venom that they held earlier in this match. Well, Cash suddenly in trouble on his own serve. A tremendous return of serve, that one full-blooded right off the centre of the racket. And down the line, as always, which has been his favourite passing shot. Oh, that was wide. 
Yes. Sir. I think it was wide, and it was called that way. Yeah. Yeah. So no, the ball's correct. I couldn't see the uh, linesman from our angle. Yeah, the ball was wide. Thank you. Clerk, please. Couldn't see the linesman nor hear his call in the uh, in the pandemonium that broke loose at courtside. Hard to make those accurate passing shots time and time again. Struggling, but struggling magnificently. And with an opportunity to lead in the fourth set. 4-2 right now. <laughs> so Ace gives it the cash. Well, Australia. Again, the crowd goes bananas. Australia lead four games to two, fourth set. Oh, what an epic battle this is turning out to be. And what an epic Davis Cup final this Thank is you. proving to be for Pat Cash. Burnforce holds up his racket in apology. He says, sorry, I had to win it that way, but uh, any way I can take it, any way I can get it, I'll take it, rather. Cash covered tremendous ground and had the benefit of the net cord, but uh, was in an impossible position. Thirty love. Great exchange and here. The passing shots that were just clipping the lines of Michael Pernfor is now missing by just the merest of margins. Beautifully struck ball up the line, but just over the baseline by several centimetres. just a touch of the master here very very intelligent tennis so many times cash has hit deep and that's the first one obviously pern would have been Quite back pedaling expecting the deep Thank approach you. and any drop shot would have won that point He's come up with some passing shots, this guy, Pernforce. Maybe not quite as many now as he was earlier, but he can still make winners. As soon as it's not a really quality approach shot, you are in trouble against Michael Pernforce. Not a bad pickup by Pat Cash, but Pernforce just putting it inches inside the line. there was no tomorrow surging confidence of Pat Cash and he was following it in also ready to take care of any contingencies early preparation at the top of the bounce and following right through on the flight of the ball 
Perfect forehand. Two four and deuce and second serve from Pern Force. Chance for cash. Australia. At Cash taking his time, making Pern Fors wait. And she's been doing that the last uh, set and a half. And Cash has done some work this game. He could get a little tired, a little bit out of breath. Turn of serve again from Cash. Here's Cash making way to the net. The easy put away. And Cash storming the net at every opportunity now. Bustling him out of it, come with the net at every opportunity, putting it up to the Swede, demanding that he make the passing shot right now. certainly went for it. from the back court there with Perm Force coming in. Yes, well, Cash actually made a move to come in after the return of serve and he hesitated. And uh, Perm Force really feeling the pressure and afraid of Cash coming in now and so making the move to the net himself, which is not his natural game. And that's what percentage yes. tennis is all about. On grass, situate yourself at the net after a good approach and you will win the majority of points. And that certainly has been the trend in this match. Advantage Sweden. Oh, 
Well, Pernfors holds out there, survives two break points, and it's cash leading. With the wind. Law 15. Yes, Cash serving with new balls as well from the southern end. Breeze behind him, so the advantage just should be with him. But the first point's gone to Pernforce. Five percent now for uh, cash, but uh, the percentage for Pernfors also improving slightly down to 65 percent. Love 30. Yes, I missed my guess. I think that makes a total of 10 double faults for cash. Yep, six for Pernfors. Well, this is the first laps really since midway through the second set has really kept the pressure on tremendously in staging this comeback. Wow, that was a great uh, cross-court winner from Pernfors and gives him three back back points. What a dangerous opponent this man is. So not a bad volley at all by Pat Cash, but Pernfour is anticipating and, and just whipping that forehand across court with tremendous power and topspin. Here's his favourite forehand, is across court. Fifteen forty. Big serve saves one for Cash. Great serve. And that was the one that Pernfors was able to rip across court earlier in the match, but just not getting there now. Maybe a slight combination of the court being a little faster. New balls that Cash is serving with. And maybe he's just lost part of a step. Players having been on court two hours and 40 minutes. The tension must really be draining. Another great serve from Cash. He took plenty of time to prepare for it and let loose with a thunderbolt. But Pernfors just couldn't control. Two tremendous first serves when they've been needed most. He needs one more. And here is the danger point. So often you get back from love 40 to 30, 40. Really has to focus his concentration now. Certainly. Umpire Malcolm Huntington agrees with the call of the linesman. Yes, there's no way he'll overrule on that one. There's too much white came up. Very interesting to see this replay. Mm, gee, on the replay it does look good, doesn't it? Too, just... too close to call. It definitely hit the sideline. Whether it nicked some of the service line is... Uh, academic because the point has gone to Australia. Well, point four is still agitated over that questionable call. Probably more more frustrated over missing three great chances. He really didn't have much of a chance on any of them. And was not really getting to the ball quickly enough to make those tremendous passing shots. And Cash appearing to survive a real challenge here. Yeah. Cash 
Rangers don't survive and goes to a lead of five games to three. Down, love 40. And to the applause of his teammates, Cash comes back. Australia lead five games to three, Sweet, four set. Mighty first serves in by Cash. And the third of them at 30-40. Caught the line right in the corner of the sideline service line. My fleeting impression was that it might have been a fraction long down the line, but called good by the linesman, confirmed by the umpire. The point stood and Cash gets out from under. 15 love. Uh, judging by the trend of this match, if it goes to the fifth set, which it certainly looks like that's what's going to happen, this is going to be a tremendous fifth set. Goes to five sets, we'll all have a nervous breakdown. Turn four is fraying now. Very much an unforced error. Not getting up to the bounce of the ball. The Swedish team looking very somber at this moment. quickly in but push the Good volley job. wide opportunity missed for him there turn four is definitely slowing down getting to the ball to try to make his passing shots early in the match he was right on top of every opportunity but sort of lunging at that last one Two hours, 45 minutes of play. That doesn't include the break after the third set, of course. Actual time on court, two hours, 45. A long and draining match. Extraordinary first serve. That's totally mistimed. It caught it off the top of the frame and it actually didn't make the net on the fly. Love. Good volleying, digging it out, and then panther like. This jump to the right is really good stuff. Very, very quick. Right on the Pernfor's favoured side. Oh, service ace. Number eight for Cash. 30 love. Cash with excellent rhythm on his serve now. Great way to relieve uh, some of the pressure and pick up a free point. Scones, the net court judge. 40, love. Who doesn't even flinch. Three set points for Cash. To level it to all. Now, who would have thought it? After dropping the first Thank two you, sets. Gentlemen. Certainly up to the midpoint in the second set, you'd have said no chance, Pat Cash. 
different story now. Well, just listen to that. Absolute pandemonium at courtside here at Kuyong. Never heard a noise like it. McNamee warming up outside, pretending he can't hear it. But believe you me, he knows exactly what's going on in here. Thank you. All set Australia, six games to four, two sets all. Sweden to serve, final set. I don't know if I can take much more Thank of this. You, I might leave it gentlemen. to uh, Peter Landy and Alan Stone, I think. Thanks, Gary. The palms are sweaty, the heart's beating. Oh. 15, love. Oh, it was this game in the previous set that Cash got the vital break and carried it through to serve it out. There's a bit of pressure out there now, Alan. Well, there certainly is, and uh, actually it's been there all day. Cash has done fantastically well to come back from two sets to love to two sets all. This is a Davis Cup set, isn't it? Well, this is what Davis Cup tennis is all about. Really, it's been a magnificent tie. Just long. 30-15. And now the whole Davis Cup resting on this set. For Australia, if Pat Cash can win it. And I've got to believe that he can. He's come back from two sets to love to uh, two sets all. He's got the momentum with him, the crowd. And I think he can uh, probably carry it on. 40-15. Turn fours as a fighter, as well as being a, a, a great court player. But whether he's, he's going to attack... Enough, that's the question. He hit that ball quite well. Just caught the tape. I think Pat would be expecting a few close calls to go his way. I don't think he's had the best of net cords during the match. bouncing second serve uh, is not being as well handled now by Perm Fours as it was in the first couple of sets. He was able to really get it a little earlier and get on top of it. As the match has progressed, he hasn't been able to get it quite as early and get it down. Every now and then, though, he produces a series of uh, flashing shots, not quite as he was at the start. It's long. 30-15. I don't know about that. 
Neither does Pat Cash or Neil Fraser, who has a look at the central umpire Malcolm Huntington. Certainly look good there. Forty-fifteen. Ben was jogging up and down, trying to uh, loosen up those muscles. Must be feeling a little bit tense and maybe a little tired. He's had a lot of work to do. Cash has had more, Alan, hasn't he? After the doubles. First service. Cash looks the fitter of the two players to me, though, and uh, certainly, I believe, the better athlete. And as you said, though, he's had to work pretty hard in this tie and also in this match because he's been the aggressor, the man moving forward all the time. But all the Australian team have had a much longer uh, preparation than the Swedish players, and this is where it would uh, count right here. Pernforce was the first of the Swedish players to arrive. Game Australia. So cash hold serve. Both players with comfortable service games to start all. the final set. Final set. Cash moving in the quick forehand volley there, beautifully executed, and then a very easy put away after that uh, nice forehand volley certainly volleying with uh, much more certainty now Thank than you. in the opening stanzas of the match making it that much more difficult for Pern Falls passing shots one all 15 love losing a little bit of control on that forehand I'm sure helped along by the wind which is quite severe now about 15 to 20 knots I'd reckon yes the baseline rally here now Pat Cash not uh, getting on top of that ball a little open there and the ball getting behind him a little Help. 30 15 those shots in the first two sets Alan were going in weren't they yes of course, the pressure is much greater now. And this is where I believe the net player does have the advantage. He's putting it up to uh, Pernfors all the time, and Pernfors has got to come up with those great passing shots if he wants to win. 40-15. There's no surprise. It's now really from Pernfors' game, I don't believe. He's not going to all of a sudden start producing big serves or net rushing style, so... Cash uh, pretty certain what's coming now. Forty thirty. Coming off the frame. Olsen doesn't like it. It's, uh, as you said, Alan, we're a long way away. This is the furthest line from us, but it did look clearly out. It's a lot of topspin on the ball as he hooks it up. Yeah. Again, too close for the umpire to overrule. But I think a correct call there from the linesman. First deuce game of the final set. Charge here. Very 
comes. Got him. Well, he had an opportunity on that first volley. Just misjudged it a little. And he's made much tougher volleys. Caught it off the frame. This is the one there. He was in winning position. Caught it off the frame and from then on was a dead duck. He's volleyed so well these last two sets. But game point Sweden. Oh, love it. Drank a lot of serves well down the net today, Cash. Some have even hit the centre strap near the bottom. Yeah. Oh, he very rarely misses those turn fours. Love the scene. Once he sets it up with the good return that Cash has got to play the half volley off. You count the number of times on one hand that turn fours ever misses a shot like this one here. Swedish contingent really getting behind him. Got that vital opening point here in his effort to break. Fifteen all. Again, good net coverage. Cash had to really stretch there. Let's watch the serve of Cash. He gets it out wide. Down to that one. lob there he lobbed to perfection in the first two sets but since then the wind has sprung up appreciably and also he's worried about how well cash leaps and smashes so he's just trying to hit too good a lob now with his attacking topspin lob he's trying to hit it just perfectly every time and just to make a couple of errors things considered the fact that it's 2-1 in the Davis Cup final I think we count this match as one of the all-time great ones here at Kuyong yes uh, couldn't agree more Alan and I'm sure everybody watching at home and here would agree whoever wins it Pat said in his press conference that he thought the match he played against Edberg was one of his best. I'm sure if he wins here, this one would probably rate higher. Game Australia. Australians on their feet. The Sir Fitzgerald and McNamara. Cash is down there in. Two they, games all, final You can hear them, the shouts of encouragement. Well, it'll be a great birthday present for Fitzy, wouldn't it, if uh, the team can carry it off today? No break points so far on the final set. Thank One you. deuce game that was in the third on Fern 4's service. He's serving now from the southern end. Love. Eager there, uh, Pat Cash. We're keen to uh, put that deep into the corner and move in. Just mistimed it. Thirty love. And that time, just trying to take his time and place the ball back into play, and uh, just stood a bit upright on it and lifted the ball. So a couple of easy points here for Pern Forrest, just what he needs at this vital stage of the fifth set. Oh, 
Oh, great tennis from both players. Cash working his way to the net. Firm fours going first down the line, then across court. 30-15. And Cash covering the net magnificently. And just angling the smash away. Great tennis from both players. Yes, picked that one off beautifully. He was ready for the down the line shot. As soon as the ball drops a bit short, in comes Pernford. That's all. He moved before Pernford has hit that. Big point here now. Two all, 30 all. Pressure on Pernford. That's a bit short. Let's watch it again. Sets up great point. Now Pernford should have put this away. He doesn't and Cash full stretch. Hooks it down the line and loved it. 30, 40. Reminded me of Rod Laver at his best, that one. Cash takes a deep breath. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. First break point of the final Thank set you. against Pernford's fifth game. Moving around. Looked out. Not close to the line. Oh! What a point for the break. Cash. Great volley. 3 2, final set. Huh. And boy, is he that. Well, to win this match, coming from two sets to love down, would be an amazing feat. Swedish players watching expectantly. That Cash. last point had uh, the Prime Minister Bob Hawke on his feet, cheering and clapping when Cash got the break there. Cash now, 3-2, fifth set. Fifteen. Didn't have much room there, but he stayed cool, calm. Boy, has he played well in this tie. Deserves every bit of credit that uh, can be given to him. Michael Pernforce for his efforts here. Surprise selection. And has he lived up to it? And more. Well, I mentioned previously that he wasn't going to come out for the Australian Open. I hope he changes his mind. We'll have to see more of him on centre court here at Kuyong. Again, the great uh, skills of Cash at the net, his great movement, court coverage. Really quick, those first couple of steps to get to the ball. there all he had to do Burnfors was hoping for the wrong foot 30, 15. and Cash just simply pushing it towards the backhand side just doing enough to win the point and that's all you got to do so smart tennis again from Cash as we watch him good preparation just blocking that ball solidly
missed it. Beautifully controlled half volley that, as it certainly was. Oh, he's had to play a lot of those under intense pressure from the returning of Pern Force. But he gets down so well to it. And again, puts the pressure on Pern Force to come up with those passing shots. And over five sets, it's very hard to do. Over a best of three set match, you can jump on somebody and quickly win in two straight, which would have been the case here if it hadn't been best of five. But the longer the match goes, the better server and the attacking and aggressing player has the edge. Yeah! Oh, for the game. <laughs> Nine aces to Pat Cash. Again, Australia, ball change. Ball change. And the umpire Malcolm Huntington trying to speak over the very loud Noise from the Australia crowd. Australia leads four games to two, final set. Well, they they taking a short, uh, a short change, Patrick, there. That's the even ten. What a time to pull it out, too. New balls and a welcome uh, extra break here, a few seconds, while the ball boys dispatch the new balls. I think we'll see Cash go all out here to try and get a double break. 2-4. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Umpire constantly having to try and control this excitement from the crowd here. Pretty difficult. Wind could bring that back. Not far enough. A good effort there from Not third fours. Just couldn't quite hook the ball back in. He's trying valiantly here for his country. But once again, the baseline rally drops it short. In comes Cash. And formidable at the net. Fifteen all. And Cash's tactics over the previous three sets to slow things down a little bit because Pern Force is a little like Mac to me. Gets on with the game quickly. Well, that one jumped up on Cash. Team Lee back there. Couldn't quite control that. Pern Force is hanging in. Fifteen. This comfortable service game for Pern Fours with the new ball so far. And again, Cash taking plenty of time. Game three. And so Australia still. Turn four is not out of this yet. No, well, as we've said, the strength of his play is the ground strokes, the return, so he's got to be dangerous any time that uh, he's in that returning situation. No, long, I think, was it? Well, I would have said long, man. Cash has gone to the first court. In all. Hans Olsen's up again, uh, beseeching the umpire. Let's have a look at it. And there was a crowd of booing the call or booing Olsen. I would have said that ball was long. Yes, I'd agree with you. Cash is hitting the serve with tremendous power and close to the line, so I think he's had a couple of calls in his favour. 11 to nil, the aces, but as I said before, that wouldn't worry Pern for us at all. Serving is not the big part of his game. Down the centre, not giving any angle for Pernforza's double-hander there. 
Had he gone to the forehand or backhand, it would have set up a possible running passing shot. And he certainly hits those well, so smart play again from Cash. He's catching a couple of centimetres below the tape. Tom Fitzgerald and Peter McNamara, I'm sure have got sweaty palms, as we all have. Tension really on now. In this eighth game of the final set. Did he have a play on that, Alan? Yes. I would I have thought so. I think he did. I don't quite understand why he let that one go. Perhaps Turnfoot was hitting with the wind, but he's there, and he seems to just withdraw his racket there, and it dropped well in. Still game point for Cash in this game. Serve though for 5-3. Now the next two games. Neil Fraser is not sitting back relaxed in the chair now. No. He's right on the edge <laughs> of his seat. He's worked very hard for this all year. Australia lead five games to three, final set. And Cash just having a few quick words to Cash from the chair. Cash will be receiving, of course. Pern to serve. 3-5. Great effort, really, of Pern Fors, hasn't it, Peter? He come out here uh, with a good reputation, but not expected maybe even to play. He's come out, thrashed McNamee, and taken the first two sets off Cash here, and really made him fight all the way. Still fighting. Doesn't miss many of those, Cash. Pern Fors, by virtue of his appearance in the final of the French Open, now ranked 11 in the world. Top spin lob, they just tried to hit it too well now as the match has progressed. Tried to just clear Cash's racket all the time, and Cash has got that good leap. He's onto it now, and he's smashed very well. command at the net. Another fine attacking point. Two points from the Davis Cup. Cash taking plenty of time. Two big points coming up on the service of Michael Pernfors. Tactics, Cash boring in and that magnificent coverage at the net. 15-40. Sensational performance from Pat Cash. Two sets to love down. Refused to give right, in as he has run throughout you. this Davis Cup campaign and now is poised 
appropriately at match point for Australia. A light call too. <laughs> moving in and around Australia cash in five sets over Michael Turnfors as Neil Fraser comes out to congratulate him what a fantastic effort by this young man he lost the first two sets and the boys in the stand as everybody else here rise to their feet to congratulate Pat Cash. He's going over to shake their hands now. A fantastic effort from Pat Cash, Alan. Yeah, it certainly was, Peter. Uh, really put himself in the champion's class today, the last year or so. I think applause also for Michael Poonfors as he's lead the court. Valiant in defeat, as in fact the whole Swedish team have been, but Pat Cash put himself in the champions class today as far as I'm concerned. Well, he started off slowly against Stefan Edberg and his opening singles was down 1-5, won that first set 13-11, the second by the same score. He lost the first set today 6-2. He was down love 4 in the second, lost that 6-4 and then came out and won the remaining three. There's Mark Kratzman there, a squad member. But Cash really... Uh, what a heart. Did a magnificent job in <laughs> Brisbane in the semi-finals to get us here and then played and won on all three days today. Neil Fraser raises his hand, quick to acknowledge the job that Cash has done for Australia. And I think that we can't heap enough present, uh, credit Australia on by three Pat Cash and in fact the whole team, two, Neil six, Fraser four, and all six, the boys. 6-3, What a birthday present for John Fitzgerald. He wouldn't have wanted a better one, would he? No, he wouldn't have. And uh, but I really would like to congratulate the Swedish team they come out here they didn't have the same preparation they're the defending champs they've won it two years in a row and they played and fought hard and they've accepted defeat in a manner with which we're accustomed to the Swedish players yes of course they did miss their number one player Max Volander but yes, that's taking nothing away from the Australians Pat Cash salutes the cheer squad and the capacity crowd here a standing ovation for the Australian team and he throws his headband into the crowd. <laughs> caught by some young girl, I think it was. And his sweatbands. I think the happiest person out this shirt. shirt as well. <laughs> would be Paul McNamee, Alan, because uh, the final rubber is now dead. He can relax a little bit. Yes, he certainly can. And, uh, well, he would have given his best for Australia, but uh, certainly much better to have it wrapped up there. And at two sets to love down, it didn't look like that was going to happen. John Alexander tipped that a revival was imminent though early in the second set. It sensed that Cash was coming good there. The tactics were the same right throughout, but Cash was starting to get his uh, volleys going. His serve was improving. And as we mentioned, in a big match on grass, the expert grass court player with the serve and volley usually comes out on top of, of the great ground stroker and baseliner. And that was proved again today. We've had our champions of the past, Emerson, Laver, Newcomb all would have been in a similar position and would have had a great chance of winning and I think we can just about put uh, Pat Cash in that mould. He hasn't won the same number of big international events but he's only 21 and I don't think it'll be too long before he's adds some of the championship uh, titles to his list, list of credits as well as these great two great Davis Cup victories now that he's spearheaded Australia too. I was talking to him the other day and he said that he knew he could get back into the top ten and it had been very frustrating playing with the back injury and trying to work himself into peak fitness to get back into the top bracket but I'm sure he would rate his match today as one of the best he has ever played. We'll take a break from Kuyong. The next rubber will be coming up shortly and we'll be back for that in just a few moments.